EDO New South Wales is representing the Humane Society International in the Administrative Appeals Tribunal in a challenge to the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority's permit which allows sharks to be killed within the marine park. The drumline is a baited hook. It's designed to catch sharks and kill them. If the shark manages to survive on the hook, a contractor from the Queensland Government will come along and they will shoot the shark. So what you have is sharks being shot and that could be after three days of that shark struggling on, on the hook. It's a very cruel process as well as being completely irresponsible for conservation and reef ecology. The evidence is that we don't need to kill sharks in order to have an effective shark control program. There's a whole suite of non-lethal technology that's available now to protect swimmers and divers and snorkelers from the very low risk of shark bite. There's techniques like drone technology, which is being used in New South Wales to good effect. And good education, personal deterrence. There's a whole range of measures that could be deployed. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is, uh, you know, it's a jewel of Australia. It's facing a multitude of threats. So building resilience into that ecosystem, uh, affording it the greatest level of protection we possibly can is, is, is critically important. Sharks are apex predators, so they are really important for keeping the whole ecosystem in balance. A healthy reef needs healthy shark populations. We've already seen some success with this particular challenge, with the Queensland Government having uh, removed a number of target species from the list, so that, that's a positive and, and we're obviously encouraged by that. But we go a step further and our clients go a step further and say, really, the use of lethal drum lines in a marine park of the importance of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is both uh, inappropriate and unnecessary.